Baker is serving it to you raw and uncut. Open your mouth, give you a taste. Yep, you hear the music again. That this is the, this is the episode six of the Beagle Boy season two. Uh huh. You didn't put this here. Put season two, episode six. You got to put it on the paper. Well, I'll put it on for you. All right. Season two, episode six. Okay. Are you happy? Because then if you don't do that, I, I lose count. <laughs> Here we are at six episodes in. Again, shout out to who the, anyone who can't do, you know, come on, get the content out, get the content out. This is how much content there is well, on the Beagle, y'all. This is how much, yeah, uh, uh. So I'm going to try to make sense out of this because this is all over the place. The, chronico- the chronological order of things is a little messed up, okay? As far as we know, there was something that happened on uh, the weekend of the 17th. Where, uh, which is uh, about two weekends ago. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And then that was when Arquez was at the house. Remember he was, um, uh, he had, um, oh, what should we call it? He was uh, on Bigo at his house with his moms and them. So that would happen to be his sister's birthday. So DZ was there. They were together at the time, clearly. You know what I mean? And so he went there. He went, you know, to hang out, you know, to, you know I guess to go to the party. Uh, clearly something with some jealousy or something going on. It's always jealousy with these two. These two are just, you know, like a, a hot bed of jealousy. It's just, it's just, just jealous, 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 jealousy. <laughs> it's just who they are. It's just who they are. So then there's supposedly a fight breaks out. All right, so, 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 so first of all, it's between Arquez and DZ. They started fighting. And then, of course, then this is from both ends. This is what happened so far when I can piece together. I've heard his side. I've heard his side, DZ, and I've heard the Arquez side. And this is definitely something that definitely happened. They both said that they were fighting. And then the sister jumped in. Now, DZ said, once you jump into a fight, then you were fair game. Um, what come out of our quest was, oh, my sister jumped your behind. So that's that's an agreement right there. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I cannot believe this is so detailed. Um, so what should we call it? So the next thing you know... We don't hear from them for that rest of the weekend. Remember, it was like another day before we heard anything about it. Then they came back. Then that's when it was the um, the dancing in the backyard thing. That was the next week, right? You know, everything was back to normal. They were going out to drinks and eating stuff, and they were doing good. Everything was doing good. He was doing his lives. And he was doing his bego, getting his beans. You getting their beans. They were still getting a little drunk here and there, you know, eating good. Guess that check cleared. Eating good. I remember. I remember. I remember. You know what I mean? Shout out to shout out to the Discord. You know, and thank God for you because I couldn't keep up with that. <laughs> you know, I just couldn't keep up. So here we go. Now we're focused on what we were uh, seeing in episode um, four, which was the whole meltdown with the, you know, with him, whether it be on crystal meth or something, you know, there's something going on where, you know, DZ went out into the, you know, into the backyard, but naked and dancing around. He said he wasn't on anything. He said he may have been a little, you know, tipsy or whatever, but it wasn't nothing. You know what I mean? I don't know. We were all speculating something else because what makes you do something like that? You know what I mean? And then there was this issue with the building. That's that also happened during the same time because that was the backlash from the um, dancing in the, the courtyard naked. On Bigo, remember when he showed him, you know, he was showing Arquez's penis. They had woke up. Clearly, everything was going well right there. You know what I'm saying? How this divulged into the situation came in episode, also in episode four. Remember when there was, uh, or no, it was episode three, where they were tussling, you know, kissing and tussling. Was that four? Okay, that's four. Where they're, you know, kissing and tussling. You know what I'm saying? You know, they were drunk and, he, you know, they were you know, holding each other up and doing all the lovey-dovey stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> we were like, what's going on there? And that's when he was talking about his, his, his mouth test, like, um, you know, ass. Exactly. <laughs> he said something else, but I'm just going to say he said ass, okay? Yeah, he says his, his his mouth smells like ass and the grills in his mouth. He's eating my ass out with the grills. Come on, um, Arquez, you gotta take the grills off for all that. 
I know, but you're in the moment. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. I'm with you. Sometimes when the mood's hitting, you just got to go down. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? And they appreciate it. They acting like they don't appreciate it. They appreciate it. Eyes roll up in your head. You stop doing whatever the hell you're doing. <laughs> oh, God. They get them started and they walk away. There you go. There you go. <laughs> High five. There you go, bro. Dap, dap. <laughs> shout out to all Quez. Okay, all right. Yeah, he gets a shout out on this one. But, you know, not for nothing. Um, so here we are. Now we're up to the situation. Then they break up over it, right? They go their separate ways. So supposedly, um, that's when our queasy started going, our quest started going on to different people's PKs on Bigo to explain away what happened with DZ and the, the situation. People started uh, doxing him and calling the, um, what's the, the building manager, the building management. I was like, oh my God, the building manager. You guys are calling the building manager? Oh Lord, they start doxing him at the building manager. But it didn't seem like it was, it really worked because it seemed like the building manager was on his side. So far, so far far that's what he's saying that's what Arquez is saying so um after the doxing I'm like okay everything seemed to be fine like I said he went on this this apology tour where well I don't control everything he does I don't control everything he does you know that's when he had that fight with Gray Lynn when Gray Lynn started bringing up Maniac and said you're jealous of Maniac and they were going back and forth then he got uh, in it with uh, you know Dre Baby you know he was yelling at Dre Baby blah, 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 blah. You know, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not responsible for what he does he's a grown man you know what I'm saying <clears throat> then he went on to um, the big meltdown. The big meltdown. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, <laughs> they had a. They clearly had another fight. That was the same night that they were doing the, the tussling and kissing. So supposedly, it went to the point where he started, He bit his finger again. All I know, he comes on. He's wrapping his finger again. What the hell is going on now? He bitches someplace else, and then obviously they had a fight, and he had to get kicked out. And he said he's not coming back here anymore. He's tired of this stuff to the point where uh, he said that the building is looking for DZ to, uh, to I guess, push him on uh, transpassing charges if he comes near the building anymore. Ah, uh, okay, okay, sure, whatever you say. Then he got pissy, pissy, pissy drunk. Look at this video here. Oh my God! I mean, pissy drunk. Go to the YouTube, the Weekly Top Forties YouTube. I think under DJ Baker. Look under DJ Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Look at that. I mean, pissy, hissy, hissy. That man can't stand up for himself. You know what I'm saying? It's easy when Deezy's there because he helps pick him up. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, we're not going to talk about the sex tape? Oh, the sex tape. Well, we can't show that on that. I'm not. I'll show you in private, okay? Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Those are screenshots, all right? Here you go. No, you want the. I'll send it to you, all right? <laughs> I'm not going to put. Don't you dare put it up there. Don't you dare do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Just keep them drunk. Keep them over there, up there drunk. Falling over. Can't even stand up. Can't even stand up. Nice green outfit, though, right? He was there dancing and getting drunk and everything. So clearly the sex tape dropping was the was the right after the fight. That's what happened. And then DZ blocked him. So he flipped out. You know, he blocked me and then, then they started divulging into what happened with the situation. That happened on the seventeenth. Yeah, that's when he actually started showing the, the um the paperwork. He showed his arrest record it was on three seventeen. And he had a case number. So clearly Dizzy admits that, you know, uh, that something went down. He doesn't admit to going to jail and anything. He didn't never said that. I mean, from what I heard in the Discord, maybe he did in another one. But then he goes in, he goes in on the whole thing. Now they're broken up. Now it's, it's vicious. Now it's becoming vicious. And that's where we'll lay it, okay? We'll continue this again on episode 7, all right? On uh, the Bego Boys. We'll have it on Friday. We'll pick it up to where... He starts attacking the mother. Okay, the sex tape. No, we'll we'll start from the sex tape, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll give you more context to that. Okay, keep it locked here, everyone. Download the We Are Your Radio app. That way, you don't miss a thing. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Then all on on the YouTube and things.
Check out full episodes of Raw and Uncut, Monday through Friday, 7 to 11, live streaming on We Are You Radio. Or hit the link in the bio to download the We Are You Radio app, comment, subscribe, and thanks for listening to Raw and Uncut on We Are You Radio, the urban sound of pride.